uh, in this video i'll share my experience of creating the sorting visualization uh, nowadays it is very popular i have seen it on the linkedin or in the youtube everyone is trying the, the sorting using the graphs and i believe someone has posted a route couple of people have posted and they have tried also and they're successful since i'm learning angular so i thought i'll also give it a try and i have used the ngx chart uh, for the uh, graphs and which i have used it for the sorting uh, let me show uh, the sorts which i have created uh, the first is the bubble sort and uh, it is working perfectly fine uh, the only thing is the code i'll say it's not optimized but it is giving us the giving me the result so uh, if you see uh, it is uh, doing the sorting and uh, I'm using the the single color and which is uh, helpful into you know easily understand uh, which of the two the bars they are um, getting swapped and uh, I have also used the shuffle shuffle in in the shuffle what I am doing I am just reloading the the page so what is happening it is just um, showing the data from the, the scratch uh, before the sort so the same thing I have done for the selection sort the only thing in the selection sort which I have not added is uh, the the two bars which are uh, being swapped uh, they should show the different color so which is my pending task which I'll uh, complete it so yeah so this is uh, the complete uh, my project or you, you can see the task which I have done and uh, this is my code which I have uh, written uh, the first thing which I have added is I have imported the two modules one is the browser animation module and another is the ngx chart module and after that I have added uh, this component of ngx chart and the couple of properties which are also required uh, to display the data on the on the screen so uh, one thing which I want to mention here is if let's say I don't add this property and uh, let me save this so it, it won't show the same color so this property is required uh, the custom color property is required uh, to give the colors to each bar so if I don't uh, add this property even though this uh, sorting will work but uh, to display it better and how you know everyone is doing it so this the custom color property is required so let me add it back and let me save it and let me go back yes now it is displaying so first I need to add the custom color property and uh, another thing is uh, how the data and the type of the data with this uh, the component is expecting so um, I have added this uh, the, the array sales data let me show it to you so uh, here is the data which I have used it and um, it's just a random um, I've, uh, things I've added where it's the, the mobile sofa cars and the values so on the uh, x-axis it is showing the the, the, the value and the, the names name I have uh, not showing but if I um, you know hover on any bar it is just showing me so these are the options uh, the properties uh, which I just showed it to you so with that I can just show or hide all of these things if I want to add you know if I want to show something on the y or x axis so this is this these are with respect to the the ngx chart which is not you know uh, not important if uh, with respect to the sorting visualization but if you want to understand more about the ngx chart here, then these are the properties which we can use it so coming back to the sorting visualization so the first uh, sort which I have done is of the bubble sort and uh, so let me show you uh, one another thing here is the cool thing which is required so uh, in the bubble sort I have added the RxX operator for the timer so why this is required um, let me uh, go back and let me sort it so if you see the delay in the sort is not appearing on the screen it is quickly rendering all the result and displaying to us to just uh, to add the delay I have added this RxX operator and with which uh, it is adding a delay and uh, due to that we are able to see the swap of the bars so this is one of the another thing which is uh, uh, required and uh, to, shuff, uh, to shuffle I have just added the, the reload 
so window dot location dot reload it will just reload the the page and um, what happens is the default data it will appear so that is with respect to sh shuffle uh, one another thing uh, which I want to mention is the reason I've used ngx chart is because I tried uh, chart.js also but um, it was not working I tried couple of times and let me show it to you the, the issue which I was getting with uh, chart.js so if you see if I just try the sort it is working and uh, will get the complete result also however if I go if you see it is flickering um, because it is showing me the older data and not showing the the results after the sort so that was the issue I tried couple of times I tried couple of uh, you know links and uh, here and there uh, how to remove the flicker but I found it out it is the issue with respect to charges and uh, 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 some are saying there's no solution uh, they have provided a solution in the next version and high version I tried all of those things but uh, no luck so I thought to uh, not to use this code and uh, so that's the reason I am just commenting it out but I'll also uh, uh, commit this um, in the in the github if you if somebody wants to try this uh, with this, with the charges they can also uh, try and let me also know uh, your solution so that I'll also get to know what was the issue with my code